Hey there, my name is Kurt Shellstrom and I'm the Senior Event Manager here at Kenneth Copeland Ministries. Have you ever felt like something is holding you back from receiving from God? I know if something is resisting the anointing of God from flowing in my life, then I want to know what it is and I want to know how to change it. I want to know how to get the anointing of God flowing in my life and I'm sure you do too. You know, Isaiah prophesied that the anointing would be upon Jesus and would heal, deliver, and break yokes and destroy bondages. But when people didn't honor that anointing, if they didn't take hold of what he offered them, it wouldn't function. It wouldn't flow to them. The same is true today. God wants you to receive, but honoring the anointing of the Spirit of God is critical. Let's listen as Dennis Burke shares more. How do I honor him? day in and day out. How do I honor him in the morning, in the afternoon, when I'm dealing with my family or when I'm dealing with business? Well, I believe it's important to understand that I honor God by putting his manner of living as the number one priority of the way I live. In other words, when I'm making decisions or choices, choices about business or choices about ministry or choices about how I'm dealing with my family, I want to see how God really expects me to act and respond in this situation. And the more I put His Word inside of me, the more I meditate on His Word, the more I get around Him, the easier it is for me to just have these things flow out of my heart. They flow from within because I keep hiding those things and depositing those things in my heart. I begin to change and become more like Jesus, and that honors God. When you honor God in every part of your life, you put yourself in position to receive everything He has for you. Thanks for joining me for today's Ministry Minute. This week, focus on honoring God in every area of your life, and remember, Jesus is Lord.